Okay. DreamWorks. So, continuing the my trend of doing plugins uh, based on animated series right now. So, okay, mini games, of course. Donkey Dash. I don't want to. I don't know. I have to confess, I am not the biggest Shrek fan. I saw the first two. I liked the second one more than the first, but the third one, I just didn't care. Not too bad. Donkey is holding the a royal race. The king is holding a royal race. Help Donkey prove that he is the knightly steed he thinks he is. Race using the joystick to control Donkey he must pass through. Yeah. Time, extra try. Alright. Alright, that's pretty basic. This joystick probably will be crap for the Shrek ears. Alright. Legs, good. Life-based, of course. Okay, why was that a wipeout and the other one wasn't? Do I get less points for knocking him over? I, I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to that right now. This entire game has me kind of befuddled, but... More on a, wow, this is a thing scale than anything else. Wipe out? Wipe out? Yeah, this uh, kind of sucks. A lot. Yeah. Depending on how many over the hedge games there ends up being, I'll probably divide this into Shrek and over the hedge. I've never seen over the hedge. Uh, two tr yeah, two tries. That seems fair, I suppose. This reminds me almost. I don't know, I, I hate any racing game where every where you're racing toward like like at a weird angle. This is weird. I'm not a big race fan to begin with, but. That did not come out right. It feels like it did not come out right. I assure you, I only mean in the, uh... Terms of, like, an actual, like... You know, racing cars, foot race, motorcycle, whatever. It does not interest me. And while a donkey race seems like it would be strange, uh... Still, no interest. This is one of those games I can tell the more I zone out, the better I will probably be at it. Okay. Level two. Tile sets change, but it's basically the same old shit. So you have to make a certain amount of flags to pass. Yeah, I understand this. 
Like, is it? Yeah, I, I think it's a hundred off every time I hit the side of it instead of just going between it. You know, whatever. No, no, it's a hundred points. Can tap points. Okay. I need to stop paying attention to what I say and start paying attention to the game. Four tries. Fucking prick. Is he supposed- yeah, he's supposed to be that gingerbread man. That I vaguely recall. <laughs> like... I don't know. I don't recall many of the characters. Somebody could tell me there was a character in this that... And I probably just believe them. I don't fucking know. Why did I jump over that time, you idiot? Probably gonna end up being necessary to have that time. I'm not gonna get it. I didn't get as many checkpoints this time either. Which is distressing. Twenty-five out of twenty-six, so one, only one less. All right, you must pass through thirteen to complete this level. Okay. Okay, and we're back to the first tile set, which yeah, is kind of annoying. This controller is not as bad bad feeling as the Scooby Doo one, but that's still not saying positive things about it, really. I picked the wrong side to go down. There's all those flags that I'm missing. I don't know if my jump could... It's actually large enough to get past some of this stuff, so... Come probably get progressively harder. Whatever. Whatever. This is my United States of whatever. Yeah. Take you back to that time, huh? The Lynch. I don't know. I like Pick a Destiny. That was a good movie. Still wasted from the party last night's good song. Um, yeah, these tile sets are just repeating now, which it irks me. You are irksome, game! Irksome! Oh, my thumb's sweaty now, so... I don't know, I'm one of those people that likes to have my thumb on top of a joystick. On top of a joystick to control. I don't know what that says about me, but just how I like to use them. I don't remember how many flags I have to get for this one. Ah. Eh. Should have dried off my thumb. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot game. I'm a dancing fool. Oh. Actually, doesn't this character dance in the movie? I, I don't remember. But yeah, he, he did for that music video with Smash Mouth covering the monkey song. wonder what would happen what would have happened if there would have been like 70 sitcom versions of plug and play so I think those would have been really cool and terrible but I think just cool in the terrible way I don't know not ironically cool just been like 
the Partridge Family plug and play? That's awesomely weird. But. Four complete. Okay. Alright. How many of these do I need to complete? That's what I need to know. And it's not telling me, and I don't like that. Like, how many levels here? Like, that should have been the instructions. If it wasn't the instructions, I wasn't reading it because I was poor. That's my uh, entire excuse. Yes. I think it's interesting that the, uh, these ones that are put out, that the ones that are generally, like, singular end up being looking more 16-bit than, uh, than, like, the frickin' garbage I tend to play, which is generally 8-bit. At least it looks 16. It could be higher, actually. I don't actually know. I ain't taking apart one of these and finding out. Joe from GameSack, get back to me. If I ever, you know, could actually contact those guys and do it, you know, mean anything. Nothing means anything. You heard it here, folks. Heard it here, folks. Hear it here first and best. I am the bestest and the strongest. Yes. Go on. What is best in life? Crush your enemies. Stitch in time saves nine. But only when the needle is Wow, there are way more levels to this than I was expecting. So, I'm depending on how many levels there are and how long I can actually keep, like, doing this shit. I might actually have to divide even the Shrek part up. I do like the jumping. I think that's uh, definitely necessary here. And I also like when you jump through, it counts. I don't really feel like I can alter my speed that much, but maybe that's just because it's instinctual to have it facing, you know, as fast as it can forward to me. I don't know. Oh, fuck you! Okay, so... Yeah, and that starts me in front of a barrel, which is terrible. If I die here, I'm not playing this again. Or warning. I am totally okay with just stopping. Honestly... Oh! Made it! Because, you know... I don't have that much invested in this. I'm glad that they started me after that fucking jump that was fucking run over. I have played way worse design versions of this, so... I wish there was a stat posting of how you did against the other racers. Like, even though it's single player, I just think that would be a nice touch. Yep. Wipeout! Let's put my name into this. Oh, wow. Wait, no, that's... That's from a different game. There. Uh, after playing that, my eyes constantly look at the screen like it's fucking going down. KFR, I don't know what these people are. All I know is... And you have to go into it and quit. Pinball? Hell yeah! 
love me some pinball. I'm pretty sure I know how this is going to play. Oh, they reuse graphics. Lame! Isn't that Donkey's wife? Okay, so I have to hold both buttons to... get them all green or red. I feel like it's supposed to be all green, but, you know, Shrek and all. Okay, that's the bottom of it. So, making it to the upper echelon is probably a skill shot type deal. Now, this is definitely not the worst. I do think it's bullshit that that is there to keep me from failing. There we go! I feel better now. I feel like I actually have to, like, apply skill to it. Ah, uh, yep. changing color mean anything? Does it mean things are worth more or worth less? I feel worthless. So. Oh! Cool. I add... Oh! I think it added this stage. Okay, so... You get more... table... If you... Okay. That's, that's an interesting idea. I mean, something you can only do in video games, obviously. Like a real pinball table. Was there a Shrek pinball machine? Like, I really want to know now if there was a Shrek pinball machine. Probably. I mean, there's a fucking pinball machine of almost everything. Whether it's custom or production. I sometimes watch pinball on Twitch. Like, the real tables. Don't ask why, because I'm not entirely sure. I just, I find it soothing. Good way to relax. Relax, don't do it. Balls. I think it's kind of annoying having these guys walking around, but I guess it adds some difficulty to what this game. Right, goal, save, active. Yeah, it juggles my ball, which is... I don't feel like I should be saying, but I said it. It's over now. Bam! Am I destroying the castle a little bit each time? Am I hallucinating now? This part right here sounds like Funky Town to me.
okay, and then it always reverts to there. It's different, and it was at least a different pers person? I don't know. Person? <laughs> Question. Oh, and the stopper's back. Interesting. I don't know why, but the stopper actually kind of makes it feel harder to me. Okay, and that, okay, that jets me upward. Okay. That's strange. Talk about it, talk about it. It's on to Electric Avenue. Take it higher. Yeah. That was me sucking. Yeah, I'm betting, like, the top score is gonna be probably kind of insane. You know. You know. It's interesting, I, I, I would have thought the joystick would have been the plunger, but it's actually A and B. to uh, activate the plunger, which is odd to me. It's an odd choice. Just because, I don't know. Something that at least feels kind of analog is kind of standard for a plunger. You know, in games. In a way. I guess it depends on what games you've been playing. Like, even pressing down on arrow key feels more natural. Game over! Quit game. <laughs>